YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel on the web for all things geeky and cool. And welcome guys to another Funko review. A Funko review I am very, very, very happy to bring to you, my viewers and subscribers. Woo! Because we're talking about heavy metal, the godfathers of heavy metal, back in 1975 from the band Iron Maiden, featuring their iconic mascot, Eddie. We have four pops here that just came out this week as far as recording of this video. Got them at GameStop. Put a down payment on five bucks for each pop. And they have a special going right now where you can buy three, get one for free. And I'm very, very happy that Funko has decided to finally get their hands on Maiden's license to do, I guess, the vinyl figures for, of course, Eddie, the mascot for Iron Maiden. This is listed as the Wave 1 set of Funko releases for the Iron Maiden pops. I don't know when the next release batch will be coming out because we have people of mind, Iron Maiden Eddie from the original album, you have from the Killers album Eddie, and you have from uh, Number of the Beast Eddie with the little demonic figure of the devil. So I'm going to do a full breakdown of all four of these pops. I'm going to look at the packaging as a whole. I'm going to look at the paint articulation and conclude the final thoughts for you, the viewer. Should you spend the money and pick up these great four Iron Maiden from the Pop Rocks line? Stay tuned guys, we're going to a breakdown. All right, guys, we're in a breakdown segment looking at the Pop Rocks number 143, 144, 145, and 146, featuring our iconic mascot, Eddie. Now, very first thing we always do in a breakdown segment is look at the packaging and presentation. Since I have four pops to go through individually, I'm going to push them and go one by one. So I'll move everything out of the shot for right now, and then we're going to go one by one so it'll get better view of each one. First, let's take a look at the Iron Maiden pop itself. This is, of course, Eddie in their iconic Iron Maiden, basically their main album they came out with. Uh, number 143, we have the Pop Rocks right here, number 143. A nice side shot of Eddie, nice window box display. You can see Eddie within right there. It does say Iron Maiden Eddie right here at the bottom. We over here, a nice shot of what he would look like out of packaging. Over here, we have Iron Maiden number 143. And the back of the packaging, if you're not really sure about Iron Maiden, you don't know what these guys were all about, this is what the back of the art looked like for the album. And that's where they got basic liberty to make the Eddie final figure that you see right here. Looks really, really cool. This is what he basically looked like when he when he made him in his very first album. This is the way Eddie looked. So let's go with 143. Let's go to the next one here, which would be 144, which would be Killers. Uh, this is the Killer Eddie. We have Pop Rocks here again. We have Iron Maiden right there. We have number 144. Over here, you have a nice, again, shot of what he would look like out of packaging. We have Killer Eddie's number 144 right there. And this is what the back of the packaging would have looked like or the album cover would have looked like. We have Eddie right here and all four pops that are within that particular wave. Looks really, really cool. I'm very, very happy to get this one because this is how I remember basically listening to Iron Maiden for the first time in this particular album. Looks really, really cool. Next, we'll go to 145, which is Number of the Beast, a very iconic album for Iron Maiden. Again, Pop Rocks here, Iron Maiden, number 145. Again, a little side shot of, of Eddie right here. Eddie and the Devil. We have a little minifigure right there of the Devil, which we'll talk about in the breakdown segment. Right here, Number of the Beast, talking about the album. We have right here what the character would look like out of packaging. Number of the Beast on this side right here, number 145. And the back of the packaging, another shot of what it looked like for the Number of the Beast album when Iron Maiden brought this album out. Looks very, very cool. Really neat pop to get. And last but not least is the Peace of Mind, number 146. Again, Pop Rocks right here, Iron Maiden, 146. Eddie all tied in a straight jacket. You see right here, Peace of Mind. He's chained down. It does have Peace of Mind for Eddie listed right there. And there's a side shot of the Pop right here, Pop Rocks, number 146. Peace of Mind listed right here. And the back of the packaging in this padded cell right there. So let's bring them all back into the shot again. So we have 143, 146, 144, and 145. Let's kind of get them all lined up so you can see them all again presented. Uh, for you so you can see them all in the shot. They do look really, really good side by side as you can see right here. Let's get all these guys out of packaging and continue the breakdown segment. All right, guys, we're going to start with the figures out of packaging one by one. Since it's a little easier to showcase these off to you instead of having all four in the same shot, we're going to go one by one so you can see what's kind of going on here. This, of course, is the Eddie mascot. This is basically from their, I think it's from their first album, but I could be wrong here. What makes these really, really cool when you take these out of packaging, don't throw the box out. They have inserts, which is a kind of a cut or a scene from the album this figure comes from. In this case, it is their iconic 
just the Iron Maiden album. So you get this really cool backdrop for the figure. So if you wanted to put this next to the character, you can do that like I'm showcasing right here. Let's take this out, out the shot right now and just really focus on the Eddie figure itself with this really wicked hair. Looks really, really cool. Now, one thing you may notice, he does have shoes. All the other Iron Maiden pops in this wave are barefooted. So just take that in mind. I think these are like Converse shoes or just sneakers. So it looks really, really good. He has his hand open right there. He does have articulation. Head will spin 360 with no issues. Sort of this zombie-like appearance he has. Looks very, very cool. I love the way he looks. It looks even better with this backdrop in place. As you see right here, it looks really, really cool. Let's get him out of the shot right now and focus on the next uh, Eddie one, which of course is from the Killers album. So we'll bring in this one here, which is a completely different look. Looks really, really big. And this is the kind of how this backdrop would look. You see it right there. Let's focus on that real quick here. So you can see this backdrop from the Killers album. But this is a different sort of Eddie. He has a much bigger set of hair. Uh, really cool looking. He's in his jeans. Uh, this one, of course, was in his jean jacket as well. The original Eddie was in jean jackets and a normal t-shirt. So this one is in jeans. Barefoot, as I mentioned right here. Hand extended out. Sort of has that really wicked smile and the sunken eyes. Big, big sculpt of hair. Now this may have some issues with articulation it does do, which is what I thought. He has a little hatchet in his hand over here. I couldn't really notice it, but he has a little bloody hatchet in his hand right here. So you're going to have some limited articulation with this figure. One thing I didn't mention with the first Eddie, he does have a figure stand as you can see right here. Single point figure stand. I forgot to mention that. So there's no figure stand with this guy. He doesn't have an issue standing. He stands okay, but big head of hair. Be aware that he might take a little more space up. Looks really, really cool with the backdrop. This, of course, is the Eddie from the Killers album. So let's take this one back out now. Let's focus on the next Eddie which of course is the number of the beast. Probably one of my favorite Eddies. This one is really, really cool. So here's the backdrop. First, we'll take a look at the backdrop. Looks really, really cool. Looks really, really neat. Kind of a storm weather sort of backdrop. And this is just cardboard. If you're asking what it's made out of, it's just a piece of cardboard that just on the inside of the back of the pop back of the pop package. And this is what he would kind of look like next to the backdrop. Looks really, really cool. Let me pull back a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Looks really, really neat. He does have the devil. This is a little bit different. I really like this one. Out of all four pops, this one is my favorite. And here's the reason why. He does have a figure stand. And it's a big figure stand, mainly because he holds both the mini pop of the devil and himself at one figure point. Let's focus on the devil first. The devil figure here is this little mini devil. He does have articulation. This guy does have articulation. As you can see right here, the head spins around. Single point foot peg right there on this foot right here. Looks really, really cool for the devil. So let's put him right here. So he, he, he does stand, but he's a little bit top heavy. You might need, yeah, he's gonna have issues standing. So you're gonna definitely need a figure stand. It's a much bigger figure stand than the first one we saw here. You can see the size difference right there. Much different in size. To basically hold both the figure and the devil. Let's take Eddie off right here and focus on Eddie himself. Nice laughing smile, hand up in the air right here, holding a little bit of fire and it's translucent. I don't know if you can see it right here, guys. There is a translucent flame right there. Head or has articulation, much like this killer's Eddie here. Big head of hair, basically using the same sculpt. So you won't have that level of articulation if you're really expecting it because it does get in the way of this arm over here. This one gets clipped by this side here. So there is issues with the articulation, but he looks really, really good. Let's get him back on the figure stand here. So you can see kind of what he would look like with the little devil peg pegged in place as well. So give me one moment to get him in position. And that's how he would basically look. He looks really, really cool, even better with this backdrop. Of course, he does have his blue jeans as well. They all have like blue jeans from all these eddies. So that is the common thing through their entire uh, build of all these characters for all the album covers. They all have jeans and some type of shirt. That's what it looks like. I'm not familiar with every single Iron Maiden cover, but they're very, very similar, at least for these four pops. Very, very similar design and, and scope. Uh, but they, the, the, the buck is a little bit different between these two guys here, which are probably the closest in comparison. But I do like the uh, number of the beasts so far the best out of all four of them. It looks really, really good. Next, let's take a look at, of course, we're gonna look at Peace of Mind. Peace of Mind's backdrop is this one right here. This, I could tell you, is a piece of the album cover. I do know that 100%. This is, of course, Eddie all linked in his straight jacket. Looks really, really cool. It's kind of what it look like right there uh, when you put it next to the backdrop. Looks really, really cool. I do like how you can put these backdrops in place. You could probably do something with these backdrops if you wanted to like kind of rig it up, but it looks really, really cool. Let's get this out of the shot and focus on Eddie here. All chained. This is much different Eddie compared to Number of Beast Eddie. 
company. Different sculpt, different design, doesn't require a figure stand. He does stand in place with no issue. He's sort of in chains. His head has been kind of cut open and it looks like a lock right here on his head for his brain. Peace of mind is the idea. So it looks really, really cool. Much thinner compared to the other two Eddies. So it looks really good, does stand with no issues. If you're going to ask me articulation, head will spin 360 with no hindrance, not a bobblehead. Very happy about that. Looks really, really good. Coming right out of that peace of mind uh, album for Eddie. Looks really good with that backdrop. So yeah. Let's uh, wrap this portion up, but before I do that, I'm gonna put a cut in here and put all four Eddies side by side so you can see what they look like with all their backdrops in place. All right, guys, I got all four of them with their backdrops side by side, so you can kind of see how they look like maybe on a shelf. It looks really, really good. I think you would display them something like this. If you want to have them add a packaging, maybe put the backdrops next to the packaging. So let's say you have this. Uh, let's say we have the killers here, which is this one. So maybe you might want to do something along these lines where you might want to put this here and maybe, I don't know, this next to it. Whoops, something along these lines if you wanted to go that road as well to have the back of the packaging next to it if you wanted to display it with the packaging. That's another option you can do. You got a lot of flexibility with these pops. I do highly recommend it. With that being said, let's go to final thoughts and wrap up this video. All right guys, final thoughts on the Pop Rocks Iron Maiden Wave 1 featuring our iconic character, Eddie. Now, if you guys are not Iron Maiden fans, you may not know, again, all what he's all about. These are iconic albums that have come out with Iron Maiden's history featuring both the album cover and the pose of Eddie during that time, which we talked about during the breakdown segment. I really like what they did with these particular four figures from Iron Maiden's history. Some of them do require figure stands, which you may or may not like. Some of these bodies are very lanky. That's why they put figure stands on Funko Pops. Wave 2 is not yet released or to be determined yet what albums they're going to be doing or how many they're going to be putting, how many pops in that second wave. I'll let you guys know as soon as I find out. I really highly recommend picking these pops up if you're a fan of Iron Maiden, if you're a fan of heavy metal, if you're a fan of rock and roll, or a fan of the Pop Rocks wave, definitely pick these up at GameStop. Again, I'm not sponsored by GameStop. We just put a down payment on all these pops here, five bucks each, and it was buy three, get one for free. So I made basically a steal getting all four of these iconic, iconic pops for both the Iron Maiden characters for you see here. I hope you do like this video. Remember to click the like button at the bottom of the page, click the subscribe button. When you subscribe to the channel, click the bell to kind of be notified my latest videos. And of course, last but not least, you can click Windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. Rock on, get your, get your horns up, and bye-bye.